How's it going everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to change your primary domain as well as your DNS and name servers inside Ground. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So let's say that you guys want to change your website's domain over at SiteGround. So the first thing that you guys need to do is you want to make sure that you're logged into your SiteGround account as an administrator. So once you guys are in the dashboard, you basically want to follow this path here, being client area, websites, and all site options. So um, to show you guys what I mean, here's what the management site or the dashboard looks like. So here it is. So when you go to um, the websites tab right here, it'll list all of the registered domains under your account over at SiteGround. So in this case, uh, totsplus.com is a, a site from WordPress that is hosted by SiteGround. So if we go to edit the um, primary domain for this one, you guys would want to click on the three dots or the ellipses next to the corresponding domain or website. So you want to click on it like so. And here's what it looks like. If you click on the ellipses, you'll be met with a couple of different options like server details, transferring ownership, changing to primary domain. So that's how you actually change it to your primary domain. Now, um, assuming that you have more listed here, um, you could also select the others as your primary domain. But if you guys want to do it uh, manually from scratch or configure it even more like uh, detail by detail, then you could click on server details. And when you guys do that, uh, you'll be met with this window right here where you get to fill in, where you get to manually fill in the information such as the IP address, the ports, the name servers, as well as um, what type of um, uh, DMARC records that are, uh, that are being used by your domain and whatnot over at this page. So it looks a little something like this. So the primary domain is this one. You guys can even change it again, change the DNS, the account IP, and so on. So yeah, there you guys have it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guides like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all of that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.